In this video tutorial, we will look at the tree stage, which allows us to filter records in the database based on their relationship to other records. Let's open level one and press on the chart select function. In the selection stage, we have the option of chart, limit or tree. Let's go ahead and click on tree stage. A new window opens. At the top here, we can edit the title and add notes about the stage. Video tutorials are accessible here, and by clicking on this link, we can access the online help for the tree stage. Below this is a drop-down which gives us the choice of data table. By default, we are in the material universe. The tree is visible in this window. Note, a tree is a hierarchical display of all the records in a data table. A tree stage filters records from the data table based on either their location within the tree or on the record links to other data tables. When we find the record we want to add, we double click or press insert. The selected records are displayed below in this box. Record previews will be displayed here and to delete our selection, we highlight the text and press delete. Let's go ahead and use the tree stage to select materials which are injection moldable. We will change the data table to process universe and expand the shaping folder. Go to molding and click on injection molding. Then we press insert and can see our selected record shows up in the box. Let's press OK. We can see in the results stage that 27 materials have passed the selection which means that 27 of our materials can be injection molded. The materials that are displayed here must pass all the previous selection stages too. In the following video tutorials, we can learn how to make the most of our selection project, see where to get help and how to use the other tools available in CES EduPack. 